everyone welcome to happy unboxing nyc my name is olina and today we're gonna make with you this adorable necklace shiny shiny necklace and matching earrings using the uh, crystals that we got in a bargain bit box in november 2021 for those who are not familiar with the bargain bit box it's a monthly bidding subscription box and i'm gonna leave my link down below and if you're ready to bid with me today let's get started for our project, we will need following components. We're going to need this beautiful shiny crystals that we got in a bargain bit box this month. And we're going to need five of them. Also, we're going to need the round crystals that we got in the same bit box. And we need uh, 26 for necklace and four for, uh, yeah, and four for earrings. Also, we're going to need uh, three millim four millimeter uh, turquoise color beads. I got mine in the Sam's bead box this month, so this is a collaboration of boxes, but definitely it can be any turquoise color beads. And we need approximately 44, uh, for, 44 for necklace and two for earrings, so it's going to be 46 uh, beads like that. But of course, it can be a little bit more, a little bit less, but something like that. All right, also we're going to need um, our... Uh, we're going to need a gold uh, tone chain and I already pre-cut mine. It's about three inch. My necklace is going to be approximately 17 uh, inches. So depend on the length on yours. If you want longer, of course, you can uh, make this uh, chain uh, longer or shorter, depend on your preference. And this chain we got in a bargain bit box in October. So I'm still using it. Also, we're going to need two creams two wire protector and two creams cover everything in a gold tone and also we will need uh, our closure i use regular lobster and two jump rings five millimeter we're gonna need our pins let me just take it out we're gonna need t pin or ball pin depend on what you use and again we're gonna need approximately 44 of them even i would say 46 around 50 of them and we need um, eye pins, uh, everything in a gold tone. And uh, for earrings, we're going to need ear wires, anything you use. So um, also we will need an, our beading wire. I use my bead alone as usual, and I already prepared my stopper bead, so my work will not go away. And of course, we're going to need our pliers, our cutting plier our uh, looping plier and our crimp plier i got all my pliers in amazon for now but i know i have to change something so um i will see if i will get something in new place i will definitely let you know all right so we will start with the making um this a uh, pattern so we're gonna take our uh turquoise color bead and uh, we're gonna take our pin and we will put uh, the beads on pin do like this take looping plier snap twist and twist i prefer a uh, 26 24 gauge uh, pins because in my opinion it's very easy for this type of work it's very easy to to twist them without like hurting your fingers but it's my preference all right and we need uh, to make 44 pieces like that all right when we made a uh, 44 pieces it should be something like this we will assemble our central part of the necklace for this purpose, let me just put the things that we don't need right now aside and leave only uh, things we need. For this purpose, we will take the following uh, pattern. We take our round crystal bead, this beautiful bead, another round, and now we will take approximately 10, 11, 12, depend how many uh, turquoise color beads you have. And we put everything together. I will put 11. Like that. And now 
again we take our round bead this bead and again we repeat this pattern we take our 11 beads okay look how beautiful it already is <laughs> and again we take small bead then big one and small and again time for turquoise and again 11 times definitely can use any other colors with these beautiful crystals it can be black it can be red anything any different colors blue will look really really pretty with this color and again we take our 11 beads color bead and now it's time to put our last combination of crystals we take our crystals and our central part of the necklace is ready look like that we put everything aside and now it's time to secure our work so we take our crimps I will just cut my little bit because I I create too much took too long wire okay I put my cream I put my wire protector look like that and now it's time to press my cream All right, optional, you can put your um, cream cover. Okay, and now we will shift all our work to another side and close our work from other side. Again, the same thing, we take our cream, We take our wire protector and here I want to make sure that it's not too tight but not too loose if I'm happy with what I see, I just press my crimp. And again, I put my wire protector. Okay, so right now it's just time to cut my wire. And my central part is ready. I can put it aside for now. So our next um, part that we're going to do, we're going to make this pattern. So we need eight uh, round beads from each side. So basically we're going to create a chain like that. And in this chain, it's gonna be eight uh, beads. So we should make this links first. So for this purpose, we... so to make this uh, links, we're gonna need our eye pin and we're gonna need our crystal, round crystal. So we put it together. And now we just take our uh, looping plier 
and we're gonna make a loop we don't twist because we're gonna connect these things together and we just cut like that and we just make eight of these connections and then we simply will just attach one to another doing like that and like this and we have to make two chains each of them should contain eight uh, crystals like that okay all right so when our chain is ready we're gonna attach to the, to this chain a uh, regular three millimeter chain that we prepared again we just attach it to the end of the crystal chain we take our plier and just attach and we close the loop all right so we have to do two chains like that and when we're ready with this, we will attach our central part to the necklace. So again, for this purpose, we open our loop and put our necklace from one side. And we go to another side and do the same thing. We open our loop and we attach the necklace, the central part of necklace. And we close it. All right. So our beauty is ready. And now it's the time to attach the closure. You can use any closure you want. I use my simple um, gold tone lobster. So I take my two um, jump rings, I use five millimeter, I already pre-opened mine. So you just simply attach it to one part of chain and close. And attach jump ring and lobster to the chain and close. Okay, the necklace is ready. Beautiful, shiny necklace. All right, we will put it aside for now. Let this pretty stay with us. And we're gonna make uh, matching earrings. They're gonna look like that. And for this purpose, we need, uh, we, we need to make again, um, we take our pin just a regular pin and the way i showed with the turquoise uh, color beads we do the same thing with our crystal so we need part one and we need two of them of course because it's two earrings and for the middle part we will need our eye pin we need our turquoise color bead and we just simply do the same loop that we made again for this chain Do like that, don't twist, and cut the rest. And we can attach these two parts together. You can even make just simply crystals and without turquoise, but I decided to make it as matching as possible and for the upper part of the earring again we're gonna do the same link that we were making for the necklace and just simply attach time to put our air wire i already pre-opened mine so we simply just attach these things together and help yourself with your plier. Mm 
Okay, all right. Our earrings are ready too. Look at this beauty. Okay, so our set, I guess the set can be really, really complement any look, especially for holidays, they're, they're still here. We're still in the holiday season and just a beautiful wintry or not just wintry um, set. Okay, it was all for today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider to subscribe to my channel and I will see you shortly in my next video. Stay safe, stay warm. Bye-bye.